Hey, what's up, you guys? This is me, Juanito, from Juanito's Wrestling Vlog, and more. How are you guys doing? Well, today, tonight, every time you watch this, I'm going to talk to you guys about the 30th anniversary of Raw, or shorten to Raw XXX. Yeah, I know, it sounds like a, like a very rough name for a porn film, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I want to talk to you guys about last night's edition of Raw, which was the 30th anniversary. Okay, I enjoyed it. I really did. Um, from uh, 10, I will give it a solid 8. I think the show was very enjoyable. There was moments that was like, you know, like, meh, like, but... Yeah, but most of the show, I really enjoyed it. Um, I really enjoyed the Raw Tag Team title match between Judgment Day and the Uso, the Usos. But after the match, the story was that Jimmy, um, he got injured. And if Jimmy was injured, they were going to forfeit the titles. And Zami Zayn, he, you know, took his place and helped Jay between the titles against Judgment Day. Like, I know a lot of you folks wanted the Usos to lose at least one set of the titles, but the story makes sense because remember last night, it was Zami Zayn's trial. It was a trial. It was the Bloodline and Zami Zayn. Zami Zayn was a trial. It was basically, you know, upon him and saying how he never liked Zami Zayn, how he never trusted him, showing videos, of how he shouldn't be trusted. Then Roman was really pissed off and, you know, does literally give the order to Soto Sokoa to attack Zami. When he was about to do the Samoan spike, Jey Uso stopped him and showed footage of, of footage that he acquired himself to show Roman and everyone else that Zami could be trusted. That segment was pure gold, man. That was pure gold. I even got tears in my eyes, especially when Jimmy Uso said that he loved Zami like a brother. It was like, man, that's some character development shit right there. <laughs> well, it ends with Roman telling Zami, you're not guilty for now. I want to see you until Saturday. We're going to see if Saturday, you know, you're proving your loyalty. After that, that's when the Raw Tag Team title match happened. Zami, Jimmy did wrestle the match, but he did a uh, dive outside the ring. He supposedly, quote-unquote, got injured, but we all know that's kayfabe. That's when Zami Zayn, you know, he... Yeah, he said, you know, I'll take his place, and they retain. Zami helped Jay and Jim retain the uh, tag team titles. Man, Zami Zayn is over as fuck. He really is. He truly is. I agree with what some fans are saying. If Cody wins, he's going to probably get the Batista treatment. Because you guys remember that... In 2014, Batista won the Royal Rumble, and fans wanted Daniel Bryan to win, but Daniel Bryan was nowhere whatsoever in the damn match. So, what if that happens that we don't see Zami in the Royal Rumble match? Let's see. I personally would put him in the match, and whatever happens in the world title match, just have a pissed off Roman get in the match and just eliminate him and beat his ass. They could always do that. I guess. Or send Solo Sokoa. I do not know, but let's see. They could do something. Because for now, it looks like Cody's winning. For now. I enjoyed that match. The Steel Cage match it never actually happened because Bailey and Io Sky and Dakota Kai, they attacked Becky Lynch before the match even started. The match never happened. It's being rumored it never happened due to the... Trial of Zami Zayn segment was long as a motherfucker, so the match could not happen. But yeah, I was looking forward to that steel cage match between Becky Lynch and Bailey. But perhaps we'll get another occasion. Who knows? We're Rumble or Somania. Who knows? But yeah, you know we have a lot of segments with the legends, like Hulk Hogan came out. Um, <clears throat> we had the other ticket come out as the American Badass. We got DX. Kurt Angle, we got backstage segments with other um, legends, so 
like DDP, Ted DiBiase Sr., um, Bray Wyatt's father was there. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of legends backstage. There's a lot of legends. It was a pretty cool Raw. It was pretty cool. Then we had the main event, which was Austin Theory defending his United States title against the almighty Bobby Lashley in a no DQ match. The moment they said it was a no DQ match, I said, yeah, Brock Lesnar is definitely getting in this match. He's going to cost Lashley the title once again, and boom, that's what happened. Man, it was so fucking cool. He comes out. He F5s Lashley. Then he F5s Theory on top of Lashley. That shit was fucking perfect. One, two, three. Austin Theory retains. So, yeah, we're definitely getting Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania. Definitely. Definitely. They're building up to that once again. But, yeah, you know, Raw was enjoyable. And then we had a fun... We also had a fun six-man tag between Seth Rollins, Street Profits versus Imperium. Um, yeah, Raw was, was pretty entertaining. You know, it was pretty entertaining. Yeah, Austin Theory, him retaining, I'm okay with it. I know when he first won the title, I was kind of mad because I wanted Seth to have a longer... USA title reign, but they're actually building up Austin Theory to be the next big thing. I actually see Austin Theory being the one to replace Roman Reigns as the future face of WWE. Some fans say it's going to be Braun Breaker. It could be Braun, but I don't know. I visualize more Austin Theory. Austin Theory, he's actually way better in the ring and the mic than Braun Breaker. I mean, Brock Baker could get there. Brock Baker, he's not bad in the ring. You know, he's getting good, you know, each time, each match with different opponents. You know, he's actually learning. You know, like he has potential to be one of the greats too. I could be wrong. Maybe they'll go with Brock Baker to replace Roman. But for now, I see Austin Theory. Call me crazy. I see Austin Theory being the man to carry the company for the next 10 or 15 years. But yeah. Let's see what happens at the Royal Rumble. Like, I'm really, really excited for the Royal Rumble, to be quite honest. Because so far, maybe Cody's winning. I say so far because anything could happen. Because as you guys know, The Rock supposedly is not going to wrestle this year at WrestleMania. Once again, because supposedly he's not in shape for the match. Yada, yada, yada. Um, it's being rumored that WWE quietly if I'm not mistaken it's according to Fightful Select if I'm not mistaken if I'm mistaken you could like you know correct me in the comment section I think it was Fightful that reported if I'm mistaken that WWE they quietly offered um, Stone Cold a big amount of money so he could face Roman Reigns now is it going to be a Wrestlemania? Is it going to be in Saudi Arabia? We do not know. But we're going to find out. <laughs> but yeah. Yo, you imagine Stone Cold wins the fucking Royal Rumble for the fourth time? In other words, well, we cannot have The Rock versus Roman Reigns. But we could have Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Roman Reigns at Wrestlemania 39, night two. Could happen. It could happen. But only time will tell. Only time will tell. So let's just wait and see. Where a rumble is this Saturday. In the women's side. I think it's either Rhea Ripley who's going to win. Or. No, so far Rhea Ripley. I just. I think it's going to be for a Ripley. It's going to be for a Ripley. I see Rhea and Becky being the final two and. Rhea wins. I think Rhea's gonna choose Charlotte Flair for the SmackDown Women's title and finally beat her because she never beat her one on one. Um, who would face Bianca Belair at WrestleMania? I mean, they could always do Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley, but I think the story makes more sense if it's 
Ripley versus Charlotte so Charlotte can finally put her over in a big time. That's just me saying. But if they do Bianca and Rhea, I do not mind. But, and then, who will Charlotte face? Like, it's, it's so many things. But for now, I think the favorite is Rhea. For now. For now. We could be shocked. I see someone else with like a Liv Morgan. Only time will tell. But yeah, in the men's side, like I said, Cody Rhodes. If not Cody, it could be Seth Rollins. Third, Drew McIntyre. Let's wait and see. So yeah, that'll be all. Have a good day. Have a good night. Whatever time you're watching this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And that'll be all. Goodbye. Take care. God bless you.